Well, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video at Moorhead Homestead. Before we begin, please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. We are going to, I got my buddy Derek here from Stoke Living. What's going on? We're going to take care of this big old brush pile over here that Lindy's been wanting done for so long. How long has it been there? I've been letting it get seasoned, do you know? Seasoned, yeah. Seasoned. Yeah. you got to have that seasoned wood yeah. to burn. It's starting to get cold here. Yeah. Um, it hit 22 the other night. So, uh, we're going to get this cut up, but uh, it came with a price. He said, hey, I'll help you. <laughs> he said, I'll help you cut up this wood, hey, but. it's the giving season, Bo. Is that what it's it is? It's the giving season, okay? This is one thing that every homesteader, you know, it goes from homestead to homestead. It started off with someone. We it? actually had these at the very beginning. Oh, you did? We had them. And then um, <laughs> we, uh, I sold them all. <laughs> and then I think I made, gave Gary and Cassie some. I don't remember. Yeah. Um, but now some have found their way back. Some of you guys may know. Um, but watching his channel, what he has, um, and something that we had a long time ago. But let's see what he brought us here. Goodness. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out for that one. So, well, there's, oh, there's not as many as what I thought they'd be. That ain't bad. It's manageable. Yeah, so you guys know we used to have quail here in the homestead, and now we got them again. Lindy doesn't <laughs> know this. Um, I don't know how she's gonna take it, um, but she's at work, she doesn't know what's going on. If we get the tree out of the way, she'll be... That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking she'll be so ecstatic about that tree being gone. Um, she may not even notice these quail for a while. So we're going to get them put over here in the pen. And then we're going to get busy. Okay. You got All right, well, we got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, six, seven, eight. About twenty to twenty-one. Hard to tell. They keep moving, but yeah. oh, cool. Oh yeah. So last time I had these, you can see this indention right here. Yeah. Um, there was an owl that would come in here. That's why I had to put this up. Really? Where they could get down below it and they couldn't reach them. They'd come in here and when they would get against this at night. Yeah. And he'd reach in there and pop their heads off. Oh wow. Yeah, I'd find them in there without heads on them. Well, we got it knocked out. It took uh, 13 minutes of camera time to cut up all that. You really can't tell because of the uh, the brush, yeah. but we got all the big stuff cut up. Me, Lindy, and the kids, we'll drag the rest out of here. He's got to get to Phillips Award Assembly. But I'd like to thank him for stopping by and helping me. Make sure you guys go check out Stoke Living. I'll put the i-card up here and go tell him thanks. Subscribe to his channel, ring his notification bell, and watch his videos. So thanks. Hey, thanks for taking the Oh yeah. See you guys later on in the video. Well, hello everybody. So, the reason why you guys probably clicked on this video, what in the world happened to Hunter Ray? Well, um, it was Thursday morning. Let's see, uh, just two days before um, the biggest game he's had, um, the Super Bowl. Uh, Holly got the last something. What was it she got out of there? Out of the cookie jar. The last few, what? Yogurt. There's yogurt in the cookie jar? Oh no, she took the yak yogurt and tried to take it out. And then how did the cookie jar get knocked over? Her hand was in it. And she took okay, so Hallie's hand was in the cookie jar. She took the last yogurt. Hunter was trying to get the yogurt out of her lunchbox. 
Hallie yanked back. The cookie jar fell on her foot, broke. Um, obviously, they both got in trouble. Uh, so they were told to clean it up. And there was a small broom and dustpan right there. But Hunter elected to grab um, the glass with his hands to pick it up. And well, he found out Daddy that glass is Daddy. sharp. And, and, and yeah, you're drinking Dada's drink. And um, that it cuts. So two days before the Super Bowl, he has he got a good gash on his finger. Um, the picture doesn't really do it justice. Um, it was deeper probably than it was long, um, but it bled like crazy. So Lindy took him uh, to the doctor, got it all cleaned out, um, super glued, and bandaged up. And uh, yeah, it's looking good now. It's been, I don't know, four days. So it's, it's healing pretty good. But, see this buddy? As some of you guys may have saw, Stoke Living went live for us um, and live streamed his Super Bowl game. Here you go, buddy. And uh, they were able to do it. It was a super tough battle, wasn't it? Yeah. So, uh, what did you tell me was leaving church a while ago? Remember? About your whole body? Oh, they're so sore. You said, I'm so sore today. So, it was a tough battle. Telequa was a tough team, weren't they? He had a couple tough games back to back. But, uh, so you pre how does it feel to be a Super Bowl champion? Good and bad, because I don't want to be sore. I don't <laughs> like sore. You don't like sore? So, are you sad that football season's over? Stop, Dallas. I mean, yeah, outside of the Dallas week. Like, actual green country youth football, yeah. practicing every week, playing games every Saturday is done for a year. How does that make you feel? Boo. All right, guys, let's go. Uh, Watch how to zip up himself oh, how do, in the trampoline. Man, we need to clean all the, uh, leaves. All, the, all the leaves off there again. What are you doing, buddy? He just, got in there and he just it gets up. in there and zips it up. And... I'm back in. You want to get in there with you? Yeah. Mine. Yeah. Who wants to do the ball? My, my ball. Shoot the basket. Oh, no, oh, close. Oh, oh, no. Did you miss or miss it? I missed it. You can't miss that out. Oh, whoa. What are you doing down there? I'm just, just, just stop it. I'm about to finish. <laughs> You're silly. Well, I'm going to come over here and check on the quail real quick. Uh, bring some food and water and all that jazz. And, uh, We'll catch up with you guys later on in this video. Not sure what I will have. We have a, uh, a church little fall festival tonight. So uh, we're about to head to that. But what I'll probably do um, at some point, I need to cover up that water line. Let's go look at that real quick, actually. I haven't, actually haven't looked at it since we, uh, we put it together. But I left it uncovered so I can make sure the water soaks in and make sure uh, it's not leaking. How'd you feel the water Looks like it's all the way up soaking here? up. So much water's coming up, it saturated the ground so much that water was on top of the ground and I walked in. What do you got, honey? Big stick. Big stick? You're crazy. Oh no! Ah! Ow! Oh no! You don't you get me? Ay, ah! Oh. Uh oh. That was so exciting. <laughs> All right, let's come over here and uh, check out this quill. So we've got the water, the feed. Here's some little waters that he brought. Um, it's pretty cool. I'll get those installed uh, when I have a little bit more time. I did wire tie one up right there. I don't have it full. I have that full for now, and then that got some feet in that. So, uh, you like them? I like that one. You like that little white one? one. Oh, no, I like that one. That, that one. one. I mean that one. Yeah. That one's that mine. That one's pretty. It's like the perfect quail. 
<laughs> it's like it has nothing on like nothing like it's, it's the perfect quill perfect. <laughs> I like the white ones what, what's his name you gotta have a name well you have to help me which one's yours this uh that one right there the white one right there another. you can have the other white one the other white one's about blind I think oh yeah see I don't want that one. I, can really I, want, one. I want that spotted that one right there that kind of spotted one this one right here, that one is a little bit unique too. Yeah. yeah. That, that one with the dark. Oh yeah, one. it looks like more fun. Yeah, it's a little darker, right? Yeah, it has like that cool that one's pattern on its back. Yeah, there, like there it is right there. Yeah, it's got a little different pattern, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Well, they're easy to tell apart, because that's the only one like that. And then you got that one white one, so that's pretty cool. Alrighty guys, well we have to head to the um, Church Fall Festival, so we'll see you guys later on in the video. Well, hello everybody. It's been a few days. Um, the water leak seems to be doing just fine. Uh, so, yep, just fine. So what I'm going to do, the guy at Walk Supply said, sometimes um, they actually make this stuff that you can wrap up this tea and everything with to keep dirt and stuff from getting in the fitting and the connections. He said sometimes that will cause it to wear out faster than normal, which could have been what happened to mine. Uh, but he said it's super expensive. So another thing you can do, just get a Walmart sack, tie it around that tee, tie it around those cuppings, and cover it up just to keep dirt and debris out of it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to cover this up. And then I got my brother laws gator over here. And we need to get some wood hauled up because we got a cold front coming in tomorrow. And uh, it's, just, it's November 8th today, so it's only a matter of time before the cold weather hits and stays. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Let's get busy. What are we gonna do, buddy? Um, light. Ride? Light. 45 minutes? Ah! What are you doing? You ready to go get the wood? Say, we're gonna go get wood. Hey. Tell him. Huh? Tell the camera we're gonna go get wood. Yeah, tell them. Say wood. A full camera. Yeah. Ready to unbuckle? Uh, oh. Now we're going to get some wood. Alright, ready? Can you get this wood right here? Can you put this wood back there? Put it back there? Yeah. Okay. Good job. We gotta get some more, okay? I had to get more. Yeah, we gotta get more. Oh, nice one. Can you get that one? Yeah. Oh, my, my elbow. You got your elbow? Yeah. I don't my elbow. You okay? Yeah. Okay. No legs. Hold on, we can't ride yet. We gotta get some wood. 
What? I said right there. You done sit right there? All right. Dad and drive. Yeah, Dad and drive. You can sit right there. Can I put this one up there? Mm, no. Alrighty, well that's pretty much all the wood right here that we don't have to split. So we're gonna take it up here and stack it up on the porch. You ready? Yeah. Honey, you ready? Yeah, babe. You ready, ready? All right, let's go. Set right there. Where you want me to set? Right there. You need to buckle up? Yeah. Yep, yeah. all right, let's buckle you up. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Right there. I'm right here. There we go. Thank you, Dada. You're welcome, buddy. I gave wood. Huh? I gave wood. Yeah, getting wood, that's right. All right, well, we're going to get this wood unloaded, and then uh, I'll probably be the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, God bless. Honey, tell them bye-bye. Say bye. Bye.